hello friends welcome to the selenium tutorials so up till now we have seen certain operations performed on the browser like we have seen how to open the browser how to maximize it how to fetch the title of the browser window so we saw examples of these using java through the eclipse editor but one thing was common we always used the firefox browser and i have always mentioned like that selenium has an advantage that it supports multiple browsers it supports google chrome internet explorer safari so in this example we'll be performing similar steps we'll be opening the browser going to a url maximizing the window fetching the title but this time we'll not use a firefox browser in this example we would be performing these operations on a google chrome browser so there are certain steps which we need to configure before using the google chrome browser through selenium so let's start doing that so to execute a script on the google chrome browser first step is we require the chrome driver executable file so from where to find it i'll show you i'm going to my browser please note this url it is chrome driver dot storage dot google apis dot com slash index dot html i would repeat it's chrome driver dot storage dot google apis dot com slash index dot html so this is the place from where you get the google chrome executable driver if you forget this url you could just do a google search and it will it would take you to this site and you could do a download so you could see over here there are a number of versions of the chrome driver i would select the latest version i just click over here it takes me to a next page where i have these options so if i am using a linux operating system i would be using the linux 32 zip in my case i am using a windows 32 bit system so i would be selecting chrome driver win 32 dot zip so to download this i would click on this link and start the download click ok as you can see the download has started so once your download gets completed you will have this kind of a zip file this kind of a zip file would be available in your download folder you will have to unzip it just right click on it and do an extract all click on this extract button and it would extract the files from the zip file so now the extraction has been completed and if i just click on this folder i could see this chrome driver this exe is available on this path we'll have to use this path in the script i'll show you how to do that meanwhile i'll minimize this window and go back to eclipse here we would be performing the same steps i would be creating a new class you all must be familiar with it by now so let's start doing that i would right click on the source folder new class i'll give a class name as chrome underscore browser my intention is to execute the script on the chrome browser because of which i have given this name this is just a logical name you could give any name i would again select this option public static void main click on finish so the class would load with a default main method the class is loading you could see that circle it has loaded so here we would be performing the same steps but there would be a difference now generally we created the first step the driver object of the firefox driver in this case we won't be creating an object of firefox driver because we need to execute on google chrome so we'd be creating an object of the chrome driver the syntax is almost same so let's start the first step web driver is the class name driver is my object you could rename driver to anything this is just a name given by me you could write anything for driver but this web driver should be as it is because it is a class name object name could be as per your wish web driver driver is equal to new this time it would be chrome driver so you could see red marks how to fix those just hover over there 
select the first option import web driver that error has gone i could see a red mark on chrome driver once again i hover my mouse over there select the first option import chrome driver and there is no error right now so this time i am opening the chrome driver so the chrome google chrome browser would launch next steps are exactly the same i would do a driver dot get we'll go to google.com www.google.com you would maximize this window driver dot manage dot window dot maximize this step would maximize my google chrome browser and finally we would fetch the title driver dot get title i need to print this so i would be doing a system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln and within brackets would be driver dot get title so my code is ready but if you remember we had downloaded the chrome driver and here we have not mentioned anything about the chrome driver so if i do not mention anything about the chrome driver this script would fail so first i will have to tell my java code that you need to pick up the chrome driver from the location where i have stored the chrome driver so that is a mandatory step and you should write this step before launching the chrome driver the step is like this it is system dot set system dot set property within brackets it takes two parameters the first parameter is like this it is web driver dot chrome dot driver write it as i have written it and the second parameter is the location where the chrome driver is stored so i would copy the location where i had stored my chrome driver this is the location where my chrome driver is stored i would just copy this location like this and paste it in my second parameter so when i do that i get an error on this because by default java does not understand a single slash whenever we have to provide a path either i would use a front slash or i could use a double slash it is up to you whatever you decide you could use it i am using a double slash double backslash to be specific so when i provide that path the error vanishes now i do not have an error but if i see system dot set property it is showing me an error now if i see eclipse has given me suggestions if i see the second suggestion it is changed to set property by mistake i have written s capital because of which it is throwing an error so what i'll do i'll just select this second option change it to system dot set property where the s is not capital and the error has vanished so these are the steps we need to do to execute a script on the chrome driver by default when we execute on firefox driver we do not require any setting if we directly create an object using web driver driver is equal to new firefox driver it would run on the firefox driver but for any other browser for example google chrome we did over here if i want to execute on internet explorer again i will have to download the internet explorer driver executable file and perform these same steps so my script is now in a position to get executed if everything is correct this script would open the google chrome browser navigate to google.com maximize the window and finally print the title of the window so 
let's execute it steps for executing are the same right click anywhere on the screen run as java application oops i could see an error now when i executed i got an error so let's see what is the error if i go down and it shows the driver executable is a directory the path this d selenium chrome driver chrome driver which the path which we have provided on line number 10 now there is some mistake with this path because of which this error has come and if i see minutely i have just given the path of the folder and i have not mentioned my exe over here because of which i am getting this error so friends we should be careful we should always provide the exe as well so this is the path after which i need to provide the exe name as well so once again i'll just copy the name of the exe it is chrome driver i do control c so that i do not make any spelling mistake and copy it over here and it is an executable file so i sh it should i should give the extension as dot exe now i shall not get this error the error i got because in previously we did not provide it the chrome driver dot exe we just provided the folder path the chrome driver dot exe was missing because of which we got this error so now i'll again save this file and once again i'll execute it so i'll do as run as java application now let's see do we get any errors this time or it works successfully if you could see now there are no errors you could see the browser is launching now it is navigating to google.com so we have successfully launched the google chrome browser and now it is navigating to google.com the next step is it would maximize this window and finally fetch the title which would be printed in console so you can see the script has maximized the window now i'll go to eclipse to check whether it has successfully written the title in console so here you could see it has typed google in console so guys we have successfully launched the google chrome driver through the selenium script this is a great advantage with the selenium tool you could do multi-browser testing tomorrow if i need to do a testing with internet explorer what change i do i need to do i'll just change this line number 11 to internet explorer driver provide the path of the driver on line number 10 and that's it i would be able to execute the same script on multiple browser so this is a great advantage which selenium has it provides multi-browser testing so in the next tutorial we will see how to execute the same script on internet